I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Solve the differential equation d plus 1 the whole square into y equal to x square e raised to x. Here in this differential equation, we need to find the value of y. For that, we have to find the complementary function and particular integral. Now, let us find the complementary function. For that, we have to find the auxiliary equation of d plus 1 the whole square into y is equal to x square e raised to x. For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d. Here, we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m plus 1 whole square equal to 0. m plus 1 the whole square can be written in the form m plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, we get the roots as m equal to minus 1. In other case, also m is equal to minus 1. Here, both roots are identical. That is, m is equal to minus 1. Since the roots are same, we have to use the formula for identical roots for finding the complementary function, which is c1 e raised to mx plus c2 xc e raised to mx. Now, replace m with minus 1. Then, we get the complementary function as c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 x e raised to minus x. Now we have to find the particular integral. Then particular integral is equal to 1 by d plus 1 the whole square into e raised to x into x square. Here we have product of an exponential function e raised to x and a polynomial x square. Whenever we have a product of functions involving exponential functions, we have to apply shifting property. So, to apply shifting property by which we take e raised to x to the left of the term and add the coefficient of x in the exponential function e raised to x in d terms in the denominator. Here, the coefficient of x in the exponential function e raised to x is 1 and add 1 to d in the denominator. 
then particular integral is equal to e raised to x into 1 by d plus 1 the whole square becomes d plus 1 plus 1 the whole square x square then the particular integral is equal to e raised to x into 1 by d plus 2 the whole square into x square now we have the function x square which is a polynomial if the given function is polynomial we need to make sure that there is a one in denominator then e raised to x into 1 by taking 2 common from denominator then 1 by d plus 2 the whole square becomes 1 by 2 into d by 2 plus 1 the whole square x square which is equal to e raised to x by 2 square is 4 into d by 2 plus 1 the whole square can be written in the form 1 plus d by 2 whole raised to minus 2 into x square then particular integral is equal to e raised to x by 4 into one plus d by two whole raised to minus two is of the binomial expansion form then one plus x whole raised to minus two which is equal to one minus two x plus three x square minus four x cube plus five x raised to four and so on e raised to x by four into here take x as d by 2 then 1 plus d by 2 the whole square becomes 1 instead of minus 2x we write minus 2 into d by 2 instead of plus 3x square we write plus 3 into d by 2 the whole square instead of minus 4x cube we write minus 4 into d by 2 the whole cube and so on into x square which is equal to e raised to x by 4 into x square is multiplied with each term then 1 becomes x square cancelling 2's then minus d into x square plus 3 into d by 2 the whole square becomes d square by 4 into x square minus 4 into d by 2 the whole cube becomes d cube by 8 into x square and so on 
then particular integral is equal to e raised to x by 4 into x square minus d into x square means derivative of x square derivative of x square is 2x plus 3 by 4 into d square into x square means differentiate x square into 2 times then we get 2 minus 4 by 8 into d cube into x square means third derivative of x square which is equal to 0 and cancelling 2 and 4 then we get the particular integral as e raised to x by 4 into x square minus 2x plus 3 by 2. Now the complete solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Here the complementary function is c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 x e raised to minus x. And particular integral is equal to e raised to x by 4 into x square minus 2x plus 3 by 2. Therefore, y is equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 x e raised to minus x plus e raised to x by 4 into x square minus 2x plus 3 by 2.